here he is, the owner of four famous burger locations throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one, the only, Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is Jose <laughs> Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done from the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it from the knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that oh. beautiful liver shot. To finish in Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145's ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a bona fide featherweight contender. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Ilya El Matador And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck. He's doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change position to secure top. He's got to the clinch, control the posture, and land some big knees from the close. Aldo's got the tie clinch now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just over three minutes to go. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Huge block there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land. The master of the transition. Nice scramble. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. 
you beat your opponent by slowing them down first with those nice outside leg kicks. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. 26 total strikes and counting and now landed for the King of Rio, Jose Alba. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Round two is next. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking, but then when his opponent tried to string combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Now trying to hit the skate. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Back to the feet now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. I mean, this guy is really... Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Now he gets back in range. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Single power tie now. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all done. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Ten seconds remain in round two. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse.
All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, one got through, that kick was good. Very nice leg kick there by Aldo. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just over three minutes to go in round three. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Good solid strike on the ground. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Try to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked. Gets up again here, but hurting. All right, single power tie now. What a fight. Official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Jose.